Dwight Baird is about to undergo a new non-invasive treatment for recurrent prostate cancer at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. I was very happy when they said, ha, ah, you're a perfect candidate, and I says, good, let's, let's do it. Dwight had radiation treatment 22 years ago, but now his prostate cancer has come back, and he is not a candidate for additional radiation or surgery. That left very few options, and I was afraid that it would start uh, metastasizing and go throughout my body, and I wasn't willing to take that chance. Dwight is undergoing a procedure called HIFU, High Intensity Focused Ultrasound. The treatment has been available in other parts of the world, but this is the first time HIFU is undergoing rigorous study at U.S. academic centers for approval by the FDA. These are the same ultrasound waves that, uh, that are used for taking pictures of babies when women are pregnant, except they're focused uh, in a very precise way that the point where the, these waves are focused actually generates heat, um, killing the cancer cells. Ultrasound provides an image of the prostate and a computerized roadmap for treatment. A high-intensity focused ultrasound beam then delivers bursts of intense heat, about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, three seconds at a time. Each application heats up or ablates about three millimeters of tissue, an area about the size of a grain of rice. Even more than minimally invasive, it's essentially non-invasive. Nothing goes through the skin. We begin at the top and work our way down to the prostate treating spec by spec by spec. We like HIFU in this situation because of its precision. In less than two hours, Dwight's high-intensity focused ultrasound or HIFU treatment is complete. Three months later, the early results are in. He's doing fantastic. He went home the same day. He really had uh, almost no pain, no side effects. When we checked his PSA, the PSA is a test that we use to monitor uh, prostate cancer. His PSA was uh, essentially undetectable. The PSA had gone from 6.8 to 0 0.1, which is lower than it's been in the last 30 years. Doctors know results like Mr. Baird's may not be typical, and side effects may also vary. Clinical trials now underway for HIFU will determine FDA approval. UCLA is the only center offering the trial on the West Coast. Dwight says he's happy he met the criteria. He and wife Judy will celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary this year. Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, he's uh, a healthy guy, and I want him to be around for a lot more, a lot more years. <laughs>